um, leeway do you get with the material in the sense that do you get to read the next book, for instance, before other people? No, how, how does that work? Not at all. <laughs> no, nothing like that ever occurs. We're, mm. we're not given. Um, <laughs> we're not given hints. We're not. Yeah. Uh, no, nothing. We we don't. We don't. We're not allowed to see the new book, unfortunately. But how's your relationship with uh, J.K. Rowling in the sense that uh, do you have a friendship with her? Do you ever discuss the character together mm. with her? Definitely. I mean, you know, I had a really great chat with her for about an hour on the fifth film when she came to mm. the set one day. And I was able to, you know, really talk to her about what I felt about Harry and, and, and you know, sort of saying, I feel all this. And, and I was very cautious because, sort of we, you know, but, 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 you know, what do you think, Joe? Because, you know, she, mm. she did write him. Um, so, yeah, but no, we've got a very good relationship. But she's always been nothing but supportive to, to me personally and to the films. Absolutely. Well, being part of the Harry Potter life it can be overwhelming, as, as I'm sure you felt in your life. Uh, how much do you, in your personal life, try to distance yourself from the information about Harry Potter? I don't read anything. Mm. I don't, if I, you know, I've been doing obviously a lot of television interviews yeah. the past few days. If I go home and put the tele television on, if it's on there, I'll just switch over immediately. You know, I mm. just completely take, you know, when I'm at home, I'm just me and I'm not anything to do with the films and so I just I completely just distance myself from anything that's written because that's where if you read what's mm. written about you you can be seriously um, troubled by it I think. Yeah it's, it's, it's quite disturbing because the, mm. the, the information is overwhelming. So who do you discuss your career choices like the theatre play, uh, Equus this year etc? Well, obviously you know yeah. my parents mm. and my agent and um, but you know the, the choices I make are very much my own you know mm. and I, I know that I've got a, a a fantastic group of people around me who will support me in whatever I do. You know, they'll always be honest with me, but, you know, I mean, in Equus they were totally supportive throughout the whole thing, and, and you know, and we were all confident with Equus that despite all the things in the press that people saying, oh, this is, you know, this is the end of his career, this is a huge mistake, we sort of, you know, we had enough confidence to think, you know, this is, this is a really good idea and a really good thing to do, so we didn't particularly... Uh, yeah, listen to them. <laughs> well, this interview is also going to air on, on Canal Plus in France, and they've asked me to ask you some questions that I was wondering about. Okay. Um, one is about the anti-Christian uh, uh, movement that some people think that Harry Potter has a little bit of this anti-Christian feel. Have you ever heard it, that there were these anti-Potter movements? I know. That it's has to do with the, with the religion. Well, you know, I mean, personally, mm. I think, you know, that anything that... Um, gets kids into reading is is fantastic and uh, which Harry Potter has done without you know there's no doubt Harry Potter's done that anything that has um, you know been I, I don't see how people can say that it's it's a bad thing you know it, it, it involves magic and it involves us fighting evil you know which is portrayed in in this devilish creature of Voldemort. So, you know, I mean, religion and Harry Potter have nothing to do with each other in, in, in my mind. But, uh, you know, if anything, it, the messages that have come out of it are su supremely good, and I don't see how anybody can disagree with them personally. No, I, I, was, I was very surprised about it, and I, and I started Googling it, and there was this woman called Carrie Matriciano that has... She, she was on trial to keep the Harry Potter books from being shown in the school of her really? children. Was her name Carrie Matriciano? Yeah, Matriciano, something okay, like that. Did, did you hear about no, that? No, I didn't, did you, but yeah. I shall be very interested to Google that, yes. Yeah, it, it, it's quite bizarre how people can interpret a book in a way. Did, uh, were you ever asked about things like that? Were you ever approached? And uh, uh, Anything that occurred to you? A while ago, on the first mm. film, there was a bit of mention of it. And actually, I was, at a, I was just out out one evening and somebody who I had known, uh, an acquaintance who I sort of known vaguely for a while, started talking about it and she really, you know, she she felt that Harry Potter did teach witchcraft to people. Mm. And I just was sort of on the point of saying, well, it's not real, it's a film, you know. <laughs> I mean, there are films all the time that come out with, you know, gratuitous violence and killing and, and all sorts of things and you know, no one ever has you know, raise those sort of issues with them, so I don't know why you target Harry Potter. Yeah, absolutely, I, I find it really bizarre. But moving on to your co-actors, uh, Emma and Rupert, yes. and you guys spending so much time together, and uh, how does that translate into your personal life? Are you able to sustain a friendship, or is oh, the world of Harry Potter too... Uh, oh, no, no, we, we, we get on, me, Rupert and Emma get on really, really well. You know, we, we don't we don't see each other a huge amount in between films because we see each other so much when we're doing the films. Um,
So, yeah, but no, we get on really well, and I think that does translate. There are specific scenes in this one where I really think you, you see that friendship translate onto the screen. Mm, absolutely. Thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.